Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Ish Kristen. Today I'm going to be showing you guys The Last Supper, and this is from Jaded Gem Shop. I would have kept it in the box, but I had already opened it to make sure everything was there, and I couldn't get all the drills and everything back into the box nicely. Uh, so it's already spread out. Spoiler alert! This canvas is the cropped image. The cool thing about Jaded Gem Shop is that you can get a full size image or you can get crops and there are multiple different uh, sizes that you can choose from. I did not choose the biggest size because uh, I didn't think I could do it, but this one measures 40 centimeters this way and 180 centimeters wide. So this is by far the biggest diamond painting that I will ever attempt to tackle. Um, there are 69 colors in this and I chose to get Glimmer Drills, which is their version of pixie dust or fairy dust or, you know, the, the, the fine glittery, glittery drills. So it's a little different of an unboxing and my cat just knocked the box off the table. Thanks, Duncan. Thanks, buddy. Oh, he's gonna help me. So helpful. Uh, Jada Gem Shop kits do come with four big pieces of release paper. Very nice when you have tiny furry terrors that like plastic. So I usually use my cute release paper on the section that I'm working. And then I usually put bigger release paper, uh, like next to it because these roll up really nicely. And if I scratch them, you know, it's fine. Uh, it does come with a pre-cut sticker sheet. Love, love, love. And it looks like only the, uh, you know, the number, the symbols are in order, the symbol and the DMC number are cut. There is quantities. So if you do want to substitute a color with something else, you easily can figure out how many of that color you would need to get. Um, I don't think I will be substituting anything, uh, but you know, I'm pretty sure. 99% sure I'm not gonna be substituting. So there is that. And this is a whole sticker sheet. So you could, you could save these and I'm going to cut this teeny tiny little picture out and put it in my logbook when I start this project. Um, I usually don't save this giant sticker thing, mainly because I have so many that I've already saved. Uh, but if you're, you know, trying to be thrifty and whatnot, it's a good option. I'm going to put that to the side. My Pippi sticker. There's a link if you want to get your own Pippi the Crafty Peep poolside Pippi. I don't think there's any reason to measure this. I will try to, I will measure this way, but I'm not going to attempt to measure it the other way. So it is 40 centimeters and there is a nice generously thick plastic on the canvas. It does have the, the scallops and the pokes and the back is, the back is soft. It's not like the softest canvas ever, uh, but uh, you know, I don't really care about the softness. Not like I'm going to snuggle up with it and wrap it around my body. Uh, and then there is kind of a green, I don't know what do you call it, border. Uh, and the glue does go up until about that green border. So definitely would want to use washi tape on a canvas this large. I believe you have the option to request a toolkit or not. I chose no, but I did still get a cover minder and a roll of jade green washi and those were just in the bag i just put them in here so i didn't lose them uh you probably will have already seen the whip and chatty rant about where i talk about uh my my cat's little adventure going outside uh, so i was a little stressed out after that and so this painting was waiting on my front doorstep so i did open it to kind of take a take a little look see lou um let's see i am going to open this back up I did separate the glimmer drills already. And for a painting this size, it doesn't seem 
seem like there's that many, but I guess there is. Uh, but one of the colors is a gray and the glimmer, it's, it's very faint. <laughs> you can barely see it, which I mean, granted on a painting like this, it's a little more muted, so it makes sense, but uh, kind of wish it was a little bit, I don't know, a little bit more of a, a jazzy color. But again, I didn't chart this, so maybe they know what they're doing since they have a company and I just am talking out of my butt. The next glimmer drill is a brown. And you can hopefully see that a little bit better. Again, it's I mean, they're they're more muted than an AB, and I do love the fact that you can just use a regular pen with the glimmer drills. You don't need to have special putty or wax or tweezers because I've tried the tweezers. It doesn't work. Oh, the other cat's here. That's great. And the last glimmer drill is the white. Again, very subtle, very subtle. And I think you could choose between Glimmer, ABs, or Crystals. I don't fully remember, honestly. I ordered this like March 5th, and it got here May 3rd. So it was a good two months. And it does state on their website that it can take up to 12 weeks. So I'm not throwing shade. I'm just saying, if you're in a hurry, expect to wait. They could be faster, but you don't know. And these are resin drills. People have speculated that they are from Evermoment. I do not know people at Evermoment, so I cannot confirm or deny that. But the bottoms look very, very flat. Definitely look resiny to me. And if I remember correctly, this type of packaging for the drills, you really want to make sure that you empty all the bags and separate them by number when you're kitting them up because a lot of times some like for example 543 you might think oh this is it but then there might be some more in another bag or another strand of of drills so definitely takes a little bit more work but doing that work in the beginning will help you when you are kitting this up because this is going to be a lot of drills i did not do the math on that to see what the amount is uh but it's gonna be a ton so i will insert a video of me filming this on my kitchen floor to see if you can fully grasp how big it is so i'm going to put that in and through the magic of editing we will be right back all right here is the middle of the canvas we're going to go left. Sorry for the shakiness. As you can see, very massive. Let's shimmy to the, to the right. Dude. Oh my gosh. Sorry about the motion sickness. So yeah, it is, uh, it's massive. I don't even know if I can get it all in one shot. There we go. That's the canvas. And there's Sharky. Say hi, Sharky. There you go. He's just waiting for me to leave and walk away from this so he can chew on the plastic. Sorry, dude. Ain't gonna happen. And there we go. So this is the middle of the canvas. There is a little branding thing right there that says Jaded Gem Shop. And I'm just gonna kind of try to slide it like this so as you can see very muted very muted i will bring the canvas up closer to show you the symbols in just a second and then we have the last supper from leonardo da vinci i did get grid lines on the canvas you do have to pay i think three dollars and fifty cents extra we will take a look at that as well there is the what do you call it that thing legendy canvas symbol thingy my bobbers that thing right there uh it does have their code and it shows you the size which is 40 by 180 
and 3G is assuming three glimmer drills. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Then we're gonna, mm, my cat, let go. He's got a hold of it. So as you can see, then we go this way. Kind of looks like I is like trying to take a selfie of Jesus, which I think that would be frowned upon. But what do I know? And this is my second Last Supper painting, guys. Um, I have one from Art and Soul that is very much different than this one, much brighter. Uh, so I think I will finish that one before I start on this one. Because uh, how many Last Supper paintings do people normally buy? Zero, maybe one, but two? Seems a little excessive to me, but I have eyed this painting since I first started diamond painting, and so I finally, finally got it. Very excited. Here are Jada Gemshot's socials up there, and there is not a legend on the side over here, which is fine. I personally don't use it anyways. Oh dear. And now that's caught on the floor. Um, so yeah, I bet you're wondering, Kristen, how are you going to work on this? Short answer, uh, one diamond at a time. Oh, oh God, sorry, I know. My thought process on this, and this is a little large to be trying to show you. So this is what, we're just gonna pretend like Jesus is right here, okay? Jesus, right there. Um, I'm going to turn it on its side <laughs> and roll the top part up really, 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 really good. And I'm going to start down here and I'm going to work my way probably to the middle. And then I'm going to roll <laughs> the spot that I already did up and flip it like that and then start on the other end. Uh, I work on an easel and I work on it and it is propped up. So I feel like once it gets to be this whole bottom half of diamonds, I don't think that it's gonna be able to like stick out in front of me or curl in to my lap very comfortably. So I think the best course of action from what my brain is telling me will work for me uh, is to, you know, start it or start at the bottom work your way up and then go that way and then work that way. And maybe I will stop like right here and, and save Jesus for last maybe. So yeah, that is, that is this painting guys. Um, there are bigger sizes than the ones I got. I don't remember off the top of my head, but, um, there was one that was 200 and something centimeters. And I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> I question my ability to finish this. So I don't think I want a bigger one. And I did choose the cropped version because I wanted to focus on the people. I didn't really care about the, the background and the, the ceiling and the underside of the table. I just, it just seemed kind of boring to me, honestly. But, you know, obviously if you want a more realistic, you know, accurate representation, then by all means get that one. Uh, but I figured this was, you know, cropping in on the important people. Um, I am interested to see what the skin tones look like. I don't want to pull the drills out to figure out what skin tone is what. Uh, but again, we will figure it out. So I'm going to see. So we have this symbol, this symbol, this symbol are all of our special drills. And it doesn't look like, hmm, skipping all over the place. Uh, it does not look like they are in, you know, they don't start with one through nine and then go to letters. They're kind of spread out all over the place, which is not a, a deal breaker for me. My thing is like this nine, this nine, and that A kind of have similar shapes and they're both a brownie color, so I don't like that. And let's see, there's one arrow. Don't be giving me a bunch of treacherous arrows. Don't really see any other arrows, so I think we're okay with that. The corner, the corner triangles are the ones that just make me want to punch someone in the face. 
So, sorry. I'm not trying to be violent, but... Um, I can't see any others off the top of my head, but I'm sure once I start working on it, if something is looking similar or confusing, uh, I will point it out. There's that chill out cat. Uh, so I'm going to bring this up. As you can see, the symbols are very clear. We have white printing and black printing for the symbols. And I don't think I'm going to look and try to figure out where the glimmer drills go because this canvas is so freaking big. I don't even remember what the symbols look like. Let's see. Fill up. And there's like a lighter printed area. And there's a bunch of brown. There's going to be a lot of browns in this painting. I'm going to have to do like a row or two and then work on something like Technicolor. Let's see, there's down in the greens and the reds and the blues. I think it's going to look amazing. I have seen a few pictures of parts of this canvas done. I don't know if I've ever seen a completed one. If you have a completed one or like you've seen it, like tag me in a post or something because I would love to see it. What are you doing, Duncan? Um, anything else? So yeah, that is The Last Supper from Jaded Gym Shop. Let me know what you think. Normally, I try not to unbox things until I know I'm going to kit them up because um, as soon as I unbox them, I want to kit them up. But I am going to be good and I'm going to finish my other Last Supper painting <laughs> before I kit this one up. Uh, and, and some of the masters goes on i think i don't know what month it starts but um i mean technically i could use this because it is an old masters so there is a thought on that so all i need is a third last supper canvas uh so if somebody wants to paint me a last supper canvas with cats like cartoon doodle style you know cute cats wearing you know bright colors like hit me up because I could go for a third one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, like, subscribe, share, heart, fart, do all the things, and I will be back very soon. Big awkward hugs. Bye guys.